I got the new cotter pin, which will make putting it on and taking it off a lot easier. Oh, fuck. what's going on guys welcome back to another video today what I got for y'all is just a couple of small upgrades to the OEM shifter uh, to, to uh, improve the feel and then the feel of engagement you know removal of slack stuff like that now I've done a few other uh, mods of small affordable upgrades to the sh uh, shifter stuff but you know they're on my channel you can look them up but today we're gonna be doing this right here they are the inserts to the eyelets of the shifter cables that go to the actual shifter. They're made of Delrin. They replace the plastic ones in the OEM shifter. Those things wear out. And matter of fact, uh, I think um, one of mine is missing. I don't know. It, it's, it, hey, used cars, I don't know. <laughs> then next would be this right here, gear selector springs. So yeah, but right now we're gonna do this first. The uh, inserts for the cables. With the pivot ball and spring from K-Tuned, the side to side's a little bit better. The side to side, there's a little bit, but definitely not as bad as it used to be before those. But the front to, front to back, that has a lot of slack. That's because, because the bushing and eyelet for the uh, shifter cables, they're worn out. But now I'm also thinking that I might not even have one there to begin with. Yep, there we go. See, right here, all you need is some needle nose pliers to bend and take out these uh, cotter pins on both of these sides. All right, I got, took it out, remove that pin, remove this little, this goes to the, what do you call it? <sighs> Insert, whatever. And there you go. Yeah, I think mine's missing. <laughs> There's two sizes in, in the, package the small a small one and a big one the smaller one is right there it goes to this front one the bigger one goes to this back one right here easy I came in from this right side snapped in and it's flush all right let's put it on this thing right here there is no slack whatsoever the only slack is really in the cable itself these are the original cables I'll eventually one day get performance cables but until then this will have to do hybrid included new cotter pins, the ones that are easier to take in and out. Don't have to bend them or anything, so I'm, I'm always a big fan of these type of cotter pins. So yeah, just put them on, and uh, after that, let's go ahead and do this side. Also, don't forget to reinstall that OEM washer on the side of it to help keep it from sliding around. It's out, and all I gotta do now is pop this out, this pin, put that there, Right here, you're gonna need some kind of a uh, screwdriver or something to help pry it out. All right, got it out, took about five seconds. So now, now that that's out, got the bigger piece from Hybrid Racing, the replacement. All you gotta do is from this side, just push it in. Uh, that should be it. Yep, there we go. Nice. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Put it back in. This piece right here just goes back in go put that in boom pin is in all right this thing can go back on look at that so much nicer it's not like that was kind of fun wasn't hard, it was whatever. On to Steve's house. Uh, the drive over there, it will be a good opportunity to see how this uh, affects the, sh the gear changing and whatnot. Yeah, see you at Steve's place. Several days later. All right guys, so change of plans. We're not doing the gear selector springs, mostly because we're using Honda Bond and then there's a long curing time for that. So we might se spend a, a separate day doing that. But anyways, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, this right here, hold on. These are new springs from Hybrid Racing. They, 
I forgot, they're just called transmission springs, if I remember correctly. There's three of them. Uh, certain engine, or certain transmission to certain Honda engines only use two of them, but for the Ks, they use all three. They basically replace the OEM springs with longer springs that have more, yeah, they have more spring rate to them. And it's supposed to make the action of going into gear and out of gear a lot more, more positive, a lot more stronger. Taking out the battery, uh, the next thing to do is take out the battery uh, tray. Then you gotta remove transmission mount because the screws are under that. Uh, FYI, um, battery tray, there's two bolts under it. As you can see, Steve's under the car on, on both of them right now. And there's also two of them that go here and there. This is probably gonna be, it, what's, what's funny is that like, getting to the screws is the hardest part. The screws themselves is like the easiest part from what I can tell. So this bolt behind right here with Steve's on right now, for some reason it's extremely hard. Like even our impact couldn't like undo it. So we're like kind of muscling it uh, off. But we, this is the first time we've messed with the transmission mount on this car. So we're also thinking like maybe just because it's an old bolt, hasn't been messed with in years, you know? So I didn't uh, think, we didn't think it would be this tough, at least not this, not this one bolt, so. All right, finally got it out. It's amazing what WD-40 can do. Plus, we were almost done with the bolt anyways. What's that? It looks a little frustrated. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. There's some aluminum. Oh, man. Should be okay. Eh, okay. So maybe it was messed with in the, in the past. Maybe it was replaced or something. Possibly. Huh, interesting. But all right. Mount is out. These three bolts, it's hard to see right now, but one, two, and then there's like a third one right there. So it's just a 12 mil. There we go. I suggest not using impacts or, or power tools like that for these because supposedly these bolts are pretty fragile since they are hollow. All right, so this is how it looks. The OEM is a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter. So there's the yeah, it's definitely easier to squeeze. It just drops right in the hole. Also, per Hybrid Racing's website, you torque these down to 16 foot-pounds. And do not over-tighten them, because like I mentioned, these are a little bit more fragile than normal bolts. Onto the second one. Oh yeah. That's third one. There we go. Supposedly there's a ball bearing down in there in that hole. So these springs push on that ball bearing. That ball bearing is what sets the uh, shifter in place when you go forward or back. These bolts actually have uh, little holes in them. For like air? I Probably guess. for oil. Oh, yeah. 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 We're gonna use um, an inch pound torque wrench for this. So you gotta do the math. All right, so it's 16 foot pounds of torque but we're using an inch pound of torque, uh, torque wrench, which equals out to 192 inch pounds. So we torqued it down to 16 foot inch, or 16 foot pound, and we're just kind of using a, a socket just to make sure it feels snug to the, to the touch. Uh, from this point on, just throw the uh, mount back on and then the battery, and you're good. Right now, I'm just gonna go see if it feels different just from like how it is right now, like without any power, without turning it on or anything. Ooh, hell yeah. Oof, that's nice. Yeah, it is a lot stiffer. Feels more S2000-like. Finally, I'm getting to your level, Steve. <laughs> I like it. Oof. Yeah, it's definitely more positive and a lot more, uh, it, it's more confidence inspiring knowing that you're in the gear that you're supposed to be in. So yeah, that's about it for this video. These are just small little upgrades you can do to your OEM shifter and to the actual shifting mechanism in the, in the actual car itself. Uh, the only thing left I need to do is the gear selector springs. That'll, that'll be another time. Really the only things I would need after that 
to make the, sh the transmission feel and everything even better. Two shifter cables and an actual short shifter, but that's, that's later on. I feel like the short shifter is one of those things where it's like, I'll eventually grow to where I need that, so that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please follow me and Steve on Instagram. Uh, like this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, if you want to see more. And uh, stay corona free out there, guys. And yeah, see you all in the next one. Peace.